What's poppin' my collective? This white butterfly ascension. Come to check the money for my collectives. They got after hours by the weekend. So maybe y'all got after hours gig. Working two gigs. Unfortunately, this day and age. We got to do what we got to do. And sometimes that means working two jobs, even if we don't want to. That's why a lot of people are doing their own thing, making their own way. Because we can definitely have it all. We just got to believe that we can manifest it. Speak it into existence like it's already here. You're just waiting on its arrival. And its arrival can be at any time. So, don't pop yourself out. And don't, definitely don't um, lose hope on the road to success. Because we all know it's not easy. But anything worth having. Is worth working for. So let's get into this money set. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So I was just talking about your mindset, getting into the right mindset of things. Let's see what else we got to say about your money. You worthy. You deserve it. Like I just said. Let's see what else we got collectors about the money, baby. All about the dollars. The mighty dollars. Make it happen, cat. So let's see. Right now I got mindset. Yeah, mindset. Do you have a scarcity or abundance mindset? And that's what I'm saying. We have to speak into existence what we want. We have to speak into existence that we want it. Manifest it. Believe it. Believe that it's already here. Speak it. Speak it into existence. If it's not here, that it is on the way. Speak it like we already made it. Prototype. Create a first version for yourself only. Order a sample before marketing to others. Sell your idea or buy one. So, again, invest it in yourself. Invest it in what you believe in. Invest it in what you want. I said all this before I started pulling cards. So, when I'm saying things before the cards start coming out, that's just very using me to let you know that that's what they want you to do. That's the path that they want you to take. It says you deserve it. Slave it. Slave for it. Pay for it. It's time that you win. You are worthy. A worthy child of God. I just said that as well. So we can definitely have what we, what we want. It's owed to us. All we have to believe is that it's already here. Storytelling. Stories can be healing. Create transparency and market a product. What's your story? How can you share it a healthy, balanced way? Focus on your bio about page, introduction, copywriting, etc. So if you are starting a business, think of healthy ways so you can have a <clears throat> healthy relationship with yourself you have to heal yourself so you create an abundant project for yourself so you can leave that generational wealth for yourself for your children we want to always make sure that we are working towards 
not only our future, but our children's future, what they deserve, what we want them to have, what legacy we want to leave behind. Technology. Play with your gadgets. It's your equipment up to date and functioning. So this again is saying, if you are working on a project, make sure that everything is up to date because when you're working with outdated things, then sometimes it doesn't really work out. And that's Snapbacks and Tattoos by Ricky Graham. Plan. So, maybe this thought you had way back when and you're just embarking on this adventure now. You're just trying to decide or you're just deciding that you want to take a leap of faith on yourself. That's that food card that's telling you or pushing you that, hey, I can do this. We got to believe in ourselves. A business is hard to do. You're going to first see deficits before you see positives. You're going to first see losses before you see gains. You're going to first see or first have to take some L's before you can start gaining the stuff that you lost. Gaining the time. Gaining the effort. Gaining the money. You know, sometimes we have to put into our business more than what we have. But it's always in worth investing in ourselves. Because if we don't invest in ourselves, who else is? When we work on the job every day, we bust our ass for somebody else. That's the CEO. So make sure you're busting your ass for yourself. Fun and easy. Play more to activate creativity. Simplify your, simplify your job. When you are in the flow task, become, become seamlessly. Program your brain to work and make work fun and easy. So you want to always enjoy what you do. So that's why they tell you when you open up your business, when you're trying to um, do something, make sure that you're doing something that you love. Because if you're doing it with a passion and you're doing it with love, the effects or the outcome is going to show love, abundance, and all your sweat, blood, and tears. But you have to put in the work. Anything worth having is worth working for. for. And we have to work on ourselves just like we work on our 9 to 5. We got to invest in ourselves just as much. Show me what else I need to see. That's confirmation. So exchange goods or skills with a trusted person. You have luck in trading. So maybe you have someone that you're working with or someone that you have in mind that you want to work with to share your ideas with, to start this business with. All I would say in that regard is make sure it's someone that's trustworthy because business can bring pleasure and it can also bring enemies. Friends become enemies, especially when it comes to money. Well, that's the wrong friends. Because anybody that's on your tribe or in your team, in your circle, they're going to congratulate you. They're going to help you. They're going to help you be abundant. They're going to be a team player. They're not going to be on the opposite team. Another note, we got to lay you down by Usher, so maybe somebody want to lay y'all down. I don't know. Right now, we talking about money. We ain't got into the love yet. Show me the collector's money. So if you're a vendor, make sure that you're going over your pricing, your profits, fees, to-do lists, contracts, buyers, wholesales. Connect in the marketplace, attend the conference, educate yourself on your product that you're trying to sell, educate yourself on the things that you may need, educate yourself on the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Educate yourself on others that's in the same 
avenue or same realm of work you're trying to do. Do your homework research. You don't want to be blindsided. Some more else. And definitely when you have started to put all of these things together for your money, for your business, for your entrepreneurship, you need to definitely take some time off. That's why they're asking you to make sure that you're making things fun and easy. Yes, you do deserve it. You have to get in the right mindset. But there's going to be a trade-off. And what I mean with a trade-off is when you are given more time and effort into like your business, maybe your relationship will suffer. Maybe your other things that you're trying to do get put on the back burner. When you're trying to create and establish a generational wealth pattern for you and yours. But you also still have to take a break. Take a day off. Make sure that you are pampering yourself. Make sure that you're still loving on yourself. Because self-love is the best love. And we don't want to tire ourselves out. And we don't want to overwork ourselves. And it said the moon cycle. So let's see what the moon cycle is for this week here. Okay. So this week. The moon cycle for this week. We are in the new moon phase. And a new moon phase is when you start to actually manifest and make sure that you start um, looking into stuff. When you are when the moon, new moon phase occurs, that means the moon is on the same side of Earth as the sun. And the new moon generally can't be seen across the sky. Confirmation. So, you may not see that it's a new moon, but yesterday, the second, was a new moon. So, with this moon cycle, you might need to do an emotional check upon yourself. Make sure that you're loving on yourself. Make sure that you're staying on top of things. Make sure that you are <clears throat> not wearing yourself down. Make sure that you are having good time management skills. Okay, my collectives. Okay. Let's see. Let me get y'all. And if you have a website, you definitely need to be working and considering what you want to put on your website, the material, how you want your website laid out. Let's see. One more. Universe gave us two. So we got budget. And lastly, goals. So, you have to write down that business plan. Make sure that you are are you living a little? Are you living above your means or below your means? Are you just maintaining? Are you staying focused? And what is your goals? The sky is the limit. I already told y'all that. And when you dream. Why not dream big? And when we speak, why not speak it already like we have it? Speak it into existence. Speak that positivity into existence. With that being said, let me get y'all some angel numbers. And this reading will only be for the moolah and entrepreneurship. We want to build up each other. We don't want to tear each other down. We want to build a, a strong community. So I got, or y'all got, and let me tell y'all something else. Sometimes I also resonate with my own messages. 
I also have to be my own cheerleader. I also have to give myself a pep talk because it's not easy making videos, feeling people's emotions. Sometimes I feel y'all emotions and I be crying and sad and don't even know why. And I don't have nothing to be sad or crying about. So make sure that y'all are protecting your energy as well. So we got one, 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 one. Your guardian angels are nearby. Take this opportunity to manifest your highest dreams. The portal to abundance is opening. What did I just speak on? Manifesting what you want as if you already have it. Just said that. So we got also, uh, what else we got? Somebody about to go to London. That's Jacques London. So we got 3341. Seeing this number encourages you to uplift the energies in your home and environment by any means necessary. Um, this could mean cleaning your area to move and shake away negative energy. Or simply adding flowers to sweeten the space. Let me tell y'all a little secret about me. I always, always buy me some type of either roses, lilies, carnations, sunflowers, but I love roses. Um, I love different color rainbow roses to be exact. But every week I have made it a routine of my own to buy myself flowers. I don't wait on a man to buy anything for me. I don't wait on a man to do anything for me. That's why God gave me strength and able to take care of myself. Now, when I find my king, then yes, he'll have that job to start doing, buying me flowers and things of that nature. But never get with a man or a woman that can't match your energy, that can't give you what you used to giving yourself. And if you have to downgrade for a person or not be your true self for a person, then that's not the person that you need to be with. Because someone that loves you, definitely is going to show you. And you're not going to have to guess. Anywho, next angel number is 4646. Your angels want to remind you not to pay too much attention to material possessions. Focus more on your inner world rather than what, you fi what your five senses can see. And this way your environment will reflect how you feel. So that's just what I'm saying. You have to motivate yourself. You have to love on yourself. You have to believe in yourself. You have to follow your senses. Follow those five senses. Go with your intuition. Go with your gut. Because your gut is never going to leave you wrong. Your gut is never going to take you somewhere that you're not supposed to be. That's when you follow your gut. When you are intuitive. And with that being said, my collectors, this is y'all money. And I want to tell y'all, make sure that y'all are taking the time out to focus on what y'all good at, what y'all want to do, how y'all want to achieve it, where you want your business to go, how far you want your business to go, where are you trying to go. You have to ask, this, you ask yourself these questions. And with all that information, my collectors, y'all be easy. And I'm going to holler at y'all.